Okay, here we are with the 400 series. All 400 refrigerants are blends. They can be a zeotropic blend, which has a uh, wide difference between the refrigerants. It's called glide. Uh, I'll go into glide on a, another video. Uh, but these are either zeotropic blends or, I didn't have room for it, near azeotropic. Now, an azeotrope is a blend that does not fractionate. A zeotrope is one that does. The azeotropic blend is one that fractionates very little and can be used more or less like a single uh, fluid refrigerant. It still has to be charged by liquid. But the 400 series is the ones we came out 417A, 422, uh, 410A. 410A is a near azeotropic blend. So it, uh, in leaks, it does not leak out with, uh, it does not leak out the higher pressure refrigerant near as fast as some of the other uh, zeotropic blends. So, that's a 400 series. Everything will be R400 something. And the A's and the C's and all the rest of that that's after the N appear to me to be just ways to differentiate refrigerants uh, within that 400 number. So, uh, 400 series, zeotropic blend or near azeotrope. Okay, the 500 series is an azeotrope meaning it's a blend, I think most of these blends, I know these two are, are blends of two different refrigerants. But it's an azeotropic blend, it will not fractionate. R500 and R502 are the two most common 500 series refrigerants. These are CFC refrigerants and for the most part, they're gone now. We seldom use these anymore. Very good high-end refrigerants, but because they're CFCs, we really can't use them anymore. So, uh, the 500 series, uh, pretty much gone as far as we know. Okay, here's the 600 series. 600 series would be R600, which is N-butane, there's a number, number of different butanes. I'm not going to go over all these things. It is a hydrocarbon similar to propane. Different pressures. It is extremely flammable, just like propane. It uh, has most of the same characteristics as far as uh, being able to mix with oil. I think it mixes with oil pretty good. At least all of them I know do. But the 600 series is mostly butane and it's a hydrocarbon. Okay, the 700 series of refrigerants. Now there's only two of them I know that are in the 700s. One is R717, which is ammonia. Now ammonia is a great refrigerant for industrial systems. Uh, very commonly used even yet because it's really cheap. And uh, the only thing wrong with this, there's two things wrong with it. One, it doesn't mix with oils well. well. Number two, it's toxic. And so it can't be used in things like air conditioning that's, uh, that isn't separated, the, that the cycle is not separated from the air going into the uh, structure. So ammonia for R717, R744. That's carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is starting to be used again now. It was used many, many years ago, uh, mostly for theaters back in the 30s because it was non-flammable and non-toxic. Uh, back then they had a heck of a time making the stuff work. There's been a lot of work on it lately and you may see carbon dioxide used as a viable refrigerant in systems now. But that's the 700 series. 
This has been a little kind of a quickie on uh, what the numbers of the refrigerants mean. I'm going to go into more specifics on some of the refrigerants, why we use them, why we don't use them, and so on, uh, to give you maybe a little better idea of just what all these refrigerants are. But that's all for this one now.